Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to the Lug Haul. This is like part two, if you will, of the unboxing that I just did on my last video. But since everything's unwrapped now, we can take a little bit closer look. Um, we'll save the deep, deep dives for later for actual reviews after I've used it. But let's look at the things because there's some really cool stuff and I'm really excited about it. And now that I've had a little time to take a breath and calm down after that exciting unboxing. So first thing, when you get all the lug stuff, you get a whole bunch of papers with it. So you get the little warranty card, which if you've watched my other haul video you saw before. So I have multiples of all these. Got this little one that says it's all about family and it has a cute picture of Amy and Jason Richter and their cute little kids. And then on the back it has their story. So you get a whole bunch of those. And then you also get a little thank you card and not in every single item, but some of the bigger items. And there's two different styles of it. There's a bigger one and a smaller one, but it's the same adorable picture of the family. And again, you get the love story with Amy on the back. So that's fun. Nice little personal touch with it. You also get a pen, not with every order, but it's a nice little side gift with, with your purchases. And they're all in the patterns of lug. So previous to this, I had only gotten, I had a camo ice, which looks just like this one. And I had a floral multi, which is a navy and white and kind of a tan color. Beautiful flowers, it's really pretty. But today I got the bouquet red and the bloom black, which is the one I'm most excited about up till now because it's my favorite pattern and it's so pretty. And then I got two of the Aloha Sand, which looks a lot like the Aloha Navy, except the background is sand color instead of navy blue. And then of course the Camo Ice number two. So I've got two Camo Ices, two Aloha Sands, and then one each of the other three. So that's cool. Sorry, I'm all sweaty. I just got back from walking Kelly around the block. It's like 20 after nine at night and it still, it still makes me sweat. Um, anyway, so the other thing that came in a bunch of the packages today is this cute little Color Me Happy Lug coloring book. It does have the code on there, Lug15, to save $15 when you spend $75 or more. And then a nice little message in there. And then these coloring, um, that's a boomerang. And then you've got a couple other bags to color. Got, it looks like the the Via 2 and the Puddle Jumper. That's what it looks like. I don't know if it says. Yep, Via Tote. And then the Pretty Florals and a little card you can make. And then on the back it has the Wildflower Multi. Multi, multi. Pretty colors. I really like that pattern as well. That's probably my second favorite pattern so far. And I love the Heather as well. But you can probably tell that by my all my purchases. Okay, so um, again, I apologize for most sweaty. The first two items, um, because this is in a different order than it came in the box, I kind of grouped it up. Um, my very, very first lug item ever was a trolley, and that was in Riverwalk Navy. This one is my third trolley now. My second was Heather, and my third is Botanical Black. Uh, botanic Black or Botanical? Botanical black and it's this beautiful navies and, and blues and black and there's some purple in there too which of course I love my blues and purples and it's a lovely floral pattern actually I really like this a lot um, so this is number three and if, if you've seen the trolleys you've seen the trolleys but we'll take a quick look so inside because you gotta look at the inside patterns too Inside is actually just a pretty blue. It's almost like a royal blue color. It matches really nicely with the exterior. So you have your mesh pocket and the inside's all plastic. You have another pocket back here, which is not clear view. It actually is got the backing of the blue on there. And I really, really love the lug fittings or whatever you call it, the zippers. They're so sleek and so smooth and so pretty. And I hope that this gunmetal doesn't like wear off like it's um, coated or something. I, I have no idea because I just got this stuff, but I'll have to find out if it wears off because I just love the look of it. Um, the front pocket has this divided section and zips up. 
You've got a pocket on each end, which are just a basic pocket, no organization, and they're not plastic lined. But they are what, with little nylon. And then there's one more pocket on the back. So you have pockets all around the outside. And on the back, you have this one that has a big mesh and then a smaller mesh. And again, it's not plastic lined on the back. But the back is, of course, the trolley sleeve as well. So you have a little dot of um, Velcro, how to hold it together. And on the bottom, you have the plastic bottom with the feet on it as well. So it protects the bottom of your bag. And since this is a kind of bag that you would often use in like a bathroom and traveling, that's, that's a really nice, nice feature to have on it. So, I've got three big ones, and now I have two little ones because I got the Heather and I had to get the Bloom Black because I just love this pattern. And I've got like the perfect front pattern placement on here. I got my purple flower, my beautiful teal flower, and then a nice mix of the leaves and other flowers. I'm just so, so happy with that. Got a nice flowers on the ends. And this pattern has got, it doesn't have a lot of dead space, so it balances out really well on really any size bag. Um, the mini does not have the back pocket on it like the big trolley does, but the rest of the trolley is essentially the same. And this one has an interior, is this beautiful, I call it like my Asian teal. It's like a beautiful teal color with this little floral dot things, which you can kind of see on the bottom there with the plastic. So multicolored, I, just, I really like it. It goes really nicely with the exterior. So that's the trolley and mini trolley. Those we've seen before. So I didn't wanna to spend too, too much time on them. The next item is the runway envelope set. They're a two piece set. So it's like a small and a medium envelopes. And these were a gift with purchase. So you spend $120 and you get this for free. And these were valued at 24, I think was on what it said. So I got one in each of the colors that was offered, <laughs> but actually um, I got multiples in each of them. So I have at least two sets of each. They didn't all come yet. Today's haul, and <laughs> I was only halfway through the crazy wave. So lots more to come, <laughs> which I'm just laughing because, you know, yeah, I thought I was crazy with the Vera. I've gone just as crazy with the lug, but since I'm late to the game, I had to do it all in the front wave. It was like a tsunami kind of way. That's crazy. Um, anyway, so we got the pearl gray, and these are nice. It's just a fairly simple. It just has this nice zipper on the top, and the zipper color matches the bag, obviously, and then the smaller size, so you can kind of get a feel for the size of them. The bottom is like that lug material, which does give the bottom a little bit more like expansion, forming capability, so it's not just a rigid, like plastic envelope it has a little bit more personality to it which is really cool and I like that they're colored so I can coordinate with all my different bags and trust me I have bags that match every single one of these colors either here or coming so that's fun but so we've got pearl gray we've got the heather gray which I really love this material it's got a different feel to it but it's really really nice we've got the concord purple and of course purple is my favorite color so I love that it does have a lighter interior on it, um, and you can kind of see it on the inside of this. So it's a, it's almost like a more of a lilac or lavender light lighter color inside. So that's kind of cool. But I am looking forward to using these envelopes in pretty much every one of my bags, and they'll cross over nicely with Vera. So between Vera and Log, I've got some excellent accessory uh, options, which I'm really happy. And then the black, and the black has like a light gray interior. So that's those. But I didn't get just the free ones because even before like that kicked in, I had already started ordering some because I didn't know that was gonna kick in uh, after I made some orders. So I got the Transport three-piece clear view envelope. And these ones are a little bit different because these ones, um, and this is in Navy Waves, by the way, but these ones are a little bit more to them. The, the zipper on these goes all the way over the edge, that's fine. It has a little quick release ring on the outside. So I guess you can hook them together, we'll see in a second. So there's three sizes, so you got the large one, then you got the medium one, and the small one. Um, and these ones, like I said, are different. So the, the runway ones are clear on both sides. This one is clear on the front, 
it's basically the same. And then on the back, it actually has another pocket, but it's the, the material. And it is plastic lined, so that's nice. But, but so it gives you some more capability. I really, really like these a lot, actually. So this is the same, the medium and medium, they're pretty much exactly the same size. The only difference is the zipper and the extra. And then the small, let's compare small to small. I think they're the same. Yeah, they are the same. So that's cool, that's consistent. I like consistency. So for me, that's, that's predictable and I can sort that out. And then the larger one, we'll put, oh, come on. I'm going to put these in opposite each other, otherwise it doesn't zip up right, apparently. There we go. Okay, so the large one, and we'll show this up against this one, just because I think we'll be able to see it a little easier. So your medium to large, it's actually quite a little bit bigger. And this is a great size, though, for, for even a daily handbag. Like, this is a great size for a zip liner, maybe, and some other daily bags. I think it's going to be great. So I'm pretty excited. Put three sizes. Da -da -da -da. All right, these don't have to go all back together. We'll fix that later. Okay, and then I did not, again, so I bought the four piece clear view envelopes and I bought the three piece, and these are different as well. These are more like the runway envelopes, but they're in a multiple colored patterns. So this one I picked botanical, and if you watch the unboxing, my logic there was that. I'd already ordered a couple of botanical black items. Not so much the trolley is a factor, although the small ones would be great for organizing in there as well. But because I got a couple bags actually in black or botanical black or heather gray. And so I thought some of these would match the heather gray really well. And again, you know, even like Vera stuff, I have a lot of black bags and other things too. So the big one and the smallest one are in the botanical black. And this is the same size it looks like as the other ones. Let's compare because I'm very curious. I think they are. Yeah, pretty much the same. And then medium to medium. Yeah, those are the same. So you just have two extra bags. Let's see. And large to large is a little bit different. The the four piece is just a little bit taller, but they're the same width. So that one is just slightly bigger. Okay, that's cool. But again, it's pretty consistent, so I like that. The middle two pieces, you have a, I think it's botanical teal or tropical. Or... Anyways, I really, really like the colors on this. Actually, I was gonna get a bag in it, but I didn't yet. And then you have this one, the lighter color. Perfect. So that's the envelopes. Lots and lots of envelopes. Love, love, love organization. So really happy. Next, we got wallets. I got three wallets, three different ones. Um, the splits we already saw in my previous haul because I got that in Heather. This one is in Leopard Navy. It's a really nice swirly stitching on there, the quilting. And the back has a coin purse, nice coin purse. And it's two, two sections. You got the, the one section on the coin purse side is your basic wallet. So you have your money section, you've got two card slots, you've got two slips on the side, you've got your clear view ID window, and that's pretty much it. But it opens nice, it opens flat. And then your other side is your extra cards. And there's another slip right here in the middle too. So. Lots and lots of cards, and you can put more things in between. So like you can put your receipts and other things in between as well. So really cool. And that is the splits. Next, we got, I'll put that there. Here, let's do the splits XL, because that just makes sense side to side. So this is kind of similar, but it is quite different, but it's named as the bigger version. This one has a removable wristlet strap on it. And this one is really cool. Wait, where's my phone? Oh, I didn't bring my phone over. That's okay. So this one, your front section opens up wide. You have a clear ID window. And one thing I, I would love to see Lug add is like on the Vera ones, for example, is that little slot in the middle that allows you to kind of push it out. Because sometimes they're, 
I don't, I've not used these yet, but sometimes they're harder to get your cards out. But if you just have that little clear view to slide them out, that helps. Um, this one has one, two, three, four slots behind it. Almost looks like they could have put another slot here, actually. I'm probably going to wish that they did, but I'll just double up cards. Has a nice elastic here for a pen slot, which fits pen really nice. Obviously, if you went all the way down, it's too long, but just kind of put it in the middle there, and that's great. But this is really cool. You have this section right here for your phone, which is really nice. And my phone does fit. I just, sorry, I left it on the other side of the room. That's cool. The other section is kind of like your all-in-ones um, on the Vera side. It has a whole bunch of card slots on either side. You have a big slip on either side. And in the middle is just a divider, but you have card slots on both sides of it. So lots and lots of space. Really smart how they did this too, is like they're alternating. So these ones push to that side and the other ones are farther over. Does that make sense? So these ones are at top and these ones are at the bottom. And then a big coin slot on the back. So. Pretty cool wallet. This is um, what would have been like before I retired. I only carried a wallet. I didn't carry bags and it would be this kind of wallet that kind of was an all encompassing everything in one place kind of wallet. So I really like this. This is Camo Orchid by the way. And I like it. I like it fine. It's going to go great, especially with my black bags. And I don't even care all the time if everything matches, but honestly, this was not my first choice of pattern, but it was the only one available, the only one. So apparently Split Sex Cell is a very popular wallet or else I just was really late to the game and missed the push. So I do hope it comes out again and I can grab it in another color or two or more, but that's okay. I'm on a spending freeze anyways after the craziness that got this going. The next wallet, this came with the, it's a tandem zip and it had this little card in the front slot here. This tells you that it's RFID and shows stuff. But this is really cool. So it does have this, it's just a slip pocket. So your phone is protected, but I mean, it's not secured. So it would be nice to just have like a little snap over it or something just to, so it's not just gonna slide out. Having not used it, I don't know how vulnerable that is. It does have a removable wristlet strap, which is cool. And I like this one, it's pretty robust and it's really easy on and off. Like the other one is, is like built into the corner of the wallet. This one is nice. It's just kind of out, so I think that's easier. And then you open this up, it has a coin slot on the back. And then inside, I love how it opens up. It's a north-south wallet. If you have a lot of card slots on either side, you got big slips behind on both sides, and then you have a pen slot in the middle. And this one's a little different. It's a sleeve, you know, like a slip pocket, so it's not gonna slide through, but it's perfect. Their pens. Perfect size for their wallets, go figure, that works out really well. But I really like the feel of this. I mean, it's it's got structure and whatnot, but it's it's got give too. I, I just think that's really gonna work out really well. So I look forward to trying this. Card slots look really short too, but we'll see. I'm excited. So that's the tandem zip. And I mentioned this in my other haul video, but yeah, I'm a creature of habit. And for me, like my everything opens this way, but most of the lug stuff is the opposite, so I'm just gonna have to train my brain. See, like this one, for example, I would hold it like this and I would open it top to bottom, but this one is the opposite. Anyway, not consistent. I like consistent. So I don't have to figure it out by which wallet I'm carrying on any given day. That's gonna make me bonkers. Okay, this is the canoe in watercolor purple. Yeah. No, water, well it says watercolor pearl, but obviously it's got the purple. So it is a sort of like a lighten up material and then the classic lug material. Has this big loop on the back. I guess that's, you can hook it on to different things inside your bags. I'm not sure what I would hook that onto inside my bag really, but then it opens up and you have this nice little thing that stands, it stands by itself. Now, I don't have a lot of makeup brushes. I have, I actually have a set of brushes. Never even unwrapped them, but they were a gift. But anyway, obviously I don't do a lot of makeup. But this is a really nice bag because you, you can fold down the top and then you have access to all of your things in here. So why did I get this if I don't have brushes? Well, because I thought 
a lot of other things this could be used for. I mean, look, you can do pens, you could do art supplies, you could do your crochet hooks and put a little project in there. That's kind of the stuff that I was thinking when I bought it. Also, um, if you watched the unboxing, you've got a glimpse of my, uh, not just my insanity, but my stupidity sometimes. Um, I, well, I'm brand new to Lug, and I just started ordering things, and I got really excited, and the canoe and the flash I ordered, and there wasn't a video on the Lug site, and I hadn't fully figured out yet the research process where you could go to YouTube and look at the QVC videos and kind of go back and forth and all around and figure out what it was that I wanted and what I was buying. So I had ordered these two items before I realized how big they were. I mean, I knew what the structure was, but yeah. So that's a lesson learned, but I'm perfectly happy with it, just exactly how they are and I, it's fun. Now, speaking of the flash, here it is in Flamingo Black. I'm really excited about this piece, actually. Um, like I said, it's much bigger than I expected, but that was my own fault. I, I did the research after I ordered it, but I love the colors of it. I don't personally think that for me, a bag that's all this pattern is, is gonna work. It's just not my thing. But I love this one because it's just a nice swath of the color, but you have, it's toned down, it's balanced really well. So, for what that's worth. Big zipper, big opening, and this is essentially like a lay flat cosmetic. It's really robust and good size. So here you go, you just have two sides that are clear view. That's just foamy stuff that's in there for shipping. Here, let's take one side out, because they're the same. Oh, another card. So you got your desiccant in there too. But look, I mean, this is, this is big. I mean, you look at the base of it, it's, it's got some depth. And I look forward to using this for a whole bunch of different things. So many ideas come to mind. Here, I'll just put this back inside. For now, why not? And, oh, it does also go up as well, so you have a little bit extra vertical there. I'll just put this in here so plastic to plastic it doesn't get stuck. So much potential. And I am, um, I might order another one of these with like the Heather Gray one. I, at first when I saw them, I didn't like that they were three different colors. Um, I like this one that's the three sections but just two colors. Anyway, I'll take another look. As I pay off all of this, I might have to get another one. All right, the next one is the zip liner in Bloom Black. So we took a really good look at this on my last haul video, but that one was in Heather Gray. But same, same exact bag. So you have your classic lug pocket on pocket with the magnetic closures. You've got the two zippers, good size pockets. Although not, let's see, here's the splits. I don't think it's big enough. Ooh, wait a sec. It might be. If you get the zippers tucked in, hang on. Let me try it this way. Tags and zippers going everywhere. Ooh, actually, Aside from the tag sticking out, it fits just perfectly in that pocket. It does not fit in the pocket on the mini puddle jumper, but the regular size ones, it fits perfect, which makes me really excited that I bought multiple splits because that's gonna work out great, great. And of course, we'll, we'll check this well out too. All right, so then you have this pocket right above it, and it's just a big slip, and it is RFID, it has a little tag right here. I think that says RFID. Yeah, it says RFID on it. So let's see. We can put this. It doesn't stand, but this is not where I would put it. It does fit, but it's too much finagling to get it in there. You've got your cell phone pocket dedicated right here with your fleece lining in the matching interior color. So cool. And side pocket. you got your chuggy insulated space it doesn't have to be just for chuggies you can put other things in there of course i love that and then on the back big zipper pocket and this one has two pen slots right here which is nice let's see how this fits not standing again same thing as on the front you could put it in there but you got to work it through so this one would just go on the inside next okay 
So inside we have the privacy zipper pocket on the back and that goes, let's see, I can't remember. Yeah, about two thirds of the way down the back. You have the interior, you're sharing space with your insulated pocket. So if you have stuff in there, you're giving up interior space to share it. You've got the key bungee, which is really cool. And then you got two, okay, two elastic slip pockets on the other side. And those are not lined. That's pretty much the zip liner. And then of course you have the convertibility factor. So it's a, it's a shoulder bag and then it's a backpack. I love that. And I just really love this bloom black. Um, again, I don't think you can get a bad pattern placement. Just look at all those pretty flowers. So like on the bouquet black, for example, I've seen some pictures of other people's that have, or the bouquet red too, same thing. But you'll have like a dead space. So you have this beautiful pattern everywhere and then you have like a blank pocket. That's <laughs> kind of silly. It just always, it's gonna skew my eyes. Like that would drive me nuts. So this pattern, you don't have that same problem. It's beautiful. And let's see where we got on the wallet placement wise. We got the teals on the back and a mix on the front. No like whole flower, There's almost a flower there, but it's okay. It doesn't bother me one bit on that piece. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of stacking space. Okay, that's okay. We have just two more items. Well, three actually. So we've got the um, 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 boxer two. Sorry, brain fart. Um, this bag is obviously in bloom black again. So love this pattern. But this bag is a travel bag or a weekend bag, that kind of thing. It's not like an everyday purse bag like all these others could be used for that kind of thing. You got two big pockets on the front, and I think this one is the one that's RFID. Yeah, there's a tag. And this one is not, no. But they do have that pretty lining on the inside as well, and they are padded, so you can put a lot of different things in there. There's no, oh, it's way up here. So the tandem zip, and it fits perfectly right into that pocket. And these pockets, when they come together here in the middle, they have the little loop there, so you can actually put a little lock and lock them together, which is nice. Behind that, you have a nice magnetic pocket. It goes all the way across, and you know, it's just a big slip. You can put your iPad or your laptop or magazines, whatever, depending on what you're doing and how you're traveling. You got slips on both sides and these are not magnetic but will easily hold water bottles umbrellas a shoe in each side whatever whatever you want to do there um, so that's great you've got your dedicated cell phone pocket up here in the corner a little different than normal but it's zipped and it's still that nice soft fleece lined pocket and it's actually quite a big pocket i don't think it's big enough no not big enough for that. Okay, so that's it for the front. Let's look at the back. Let me put the straps out of the way for a second. So on the back, and this is one of the reasons I got it, just all this assortment of organization. You have a zipper pocket on the top, right here, and it is about to here. So like the top half of the bag. And inside, you have several things. You've got a big slip pocket it's lined as well so soft lined and then you have a key clip and you have two pen slots right here yeah two pen slots so that's nice and plenty of room in the pocket for other things you have your trolley sleeve again the velcro dot and then below that you have your shoe compartment you can use this for other things of course and inside this share space with the inside of the bag, so you just kind of got to work it around a little bit. But this is nice. I don't know if it's waterproof. It's not as robust. Like on the Vera Journey backpack, that, that shoe compartment has a robust inner lining, so it's not going to let anything through. But I don't know. We'll have to see about this one. I don't know why this feels like it's not going through, but... We'll see, but it's nice ventilated mesh. Um, yeah, so I wonder, I think you can even fit like your mini trolley in there or something. 
I will test it out and let you know. But this is one of the three-way carry kind of bags. So you have your, your handles that you can carry like this. And these do have that no-slip rubber on the bottom, which is really cool. Actually, it's a nice feel to them. You can carry it on your arm. You can carry it crossbody. So let's open this up and see the strap. Got the crossbody strap. It's removable, adjustable, and padded. That's always nice. And then you also have backpack straps. And they are currently hooked up and whatever, but let's unhook them and put them away. To just unhook it here at the bottom, put a nice quick release hook. And then I watched this, I watched Debbie show me on TV, on YouTube, you just fold that up, you fold it in half, well, it says in half again, but really it just can, has this little slip back here and you just tuck them in in their own little dedicated pocket. So you fold that in half and half again and tuck, tuck, tuck. And that goes in there semi-nicely. If you're not, I mean, if you have the backpack straps out, you can actually use that pocket. It's not padded or soft, but it's big enough for a phone or a wallet or whatever, but... Uh, so it just tucks away your straps there. So inside the bag, okay, first of all, I see a few things <laughs> that makes sense. All right, so on the top, you have a privacy pocket. It goes about halfway down the back of the bag, but it's not the full width. It's about two-thirds, so kind of the middle two-thirds. You've got this beautiful, again, that uh, sort of nylon-y, wipeable interior with the Pretty, pretty color. On the opposite side, you have a privacy pocket as well. Same thing. And let's see if this one goes. It goes the same. It's about halfway down. And this one has slip pockets underneath it. So two big slip pockets under it. There is a kind of a hard bottom that you just kind of flap down into place. And look at the depth of this bag. This is going to hold so much stuff. And it's got that same protected plastic with the plastic feet. And they're proportionally larger for the size of the bag, which is really, really great. I just think that's so smart for a travel bag, especially. You're gonna have to put it on the ground in the, not so much in the airport, because you can put it on top of your spinner, but you're gonna have to put it on the ground, put it under the seat, things like that. So that's a really, really nice feature, especially right now, because then you can like sanitize it again after. All right, so when I was looking at the exterior of this pocket, and I was saying, well, it doesn't seem like it goes in. Yeah, that's because, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well, because there's a little Velcro strap here. So when you're not using that pocket, you can kind of tuck it up. But when you are wanting to use it, there, it goes all the way in. So now you can put things in there. So here's your, look at that. It's like its own little cubby hole. That's so cute. I would totally do that. Because when I'm traveling, traveling, I'm definitely not putting my shoes there, but you can put a lot of stuff in there. Of course, the more you put on the outside, the more space you lose on the inside. So that is definitely a trade-off. But now let's see. I'm sorry, this is kind of awkward. I'm just going to tuck that all back in and then that little Velcro strap. Where's that bottom half? That's not it. Have to see. No rookie. Yeah. So it just tucks down to the bottom so that you don't waste that inside space when you're not using that exterior pocket. So that's really cool. So two privacy zippers and then two slips that go all the way to the bottom. That's a nice big cave of a bag. That's awesome. I love the feel of this. This is going to be great for travel. It's so lightweight. My current favorite um, personal item, so my second carry-on, is the Vera Bradley Grand Cargo. This is gonna give it a run for its money and I can't wait to try it out. All right, the other one that's gonna give it a run for its money is the classic Puddle Jumper. So this is the Puddle Jumper Tote. Um, this is in Heather Gray. It has these nice long, wait, I got straps everywhere, hang on. So nice long straps, you can hold it there, you can put it over your shoulder. These have that nice, um, anti-slip grip rubberized bottom side of the straps and that heather it's just such a great feel to this material 
And then you have your removable, adjustable, not padded, but good strap anyways for your um, shoulder or cross body that way. And then let's look at the pockets. So classic pedal jumper, you have your big pocket on the bottom that zips around and opens up. Oh, look at this interior. This is another different Heather interior. There's like four different ones I've seen now. I really, really like this one though. Very, very nice. It's pretty paisley that so goes with it. You have one little pocket in the middle. It is padded, like not padded, but I mean soft lined with the fleece. So you can put glasses or a phone or whatever you want right there. These envelopes are gonna fit, I think, perfectly. <laughs> yeah, they actually, there's a lot of extra space in there. So you can use the envelope. When I was watching on QVC and other stuff, for some reason I thought that this came with an envelope for this pocket. But as soon as it arrived and it didn't have an envelope, in my mind I clicked like, oh yeah, that was the Puddle Jumper backpack that came with that. That's okay. This came with something else, which we'll get to. So, front pocket, pretty simple but nice and big. Lots of utility there. You've got your pocket on pocket classics up here. We've already established that the splits will fit up here. We'll just check anyway. Yup. Yup. That fits. Okay. So that's great. Otherwise, same pockets and your same classic foam pouch on the top and soft lined. On the side, you have these beautiful, well proportioned. Oh, and they're, they're lined with that same pretty paisley. These are not magnetic on this one, which is interesting. That's fine. Not a problem. So that's it for the front. On the back, you have a little tag so you can put your information. You can use theirs. You can pull it out and put your info on the back or just slide your business card in on top. It's kind of like a rubberized edge to it, so that's kind of nice. It's not just going to slide out. You have to like work it out. Then you have a zipper pocket, and this goes just this, this, sorry, I think this thing stand up. It goes just this, this part of the bag right here. So the upper half of it, and it has the trolley sleeve with your Velcro dot right there. So very clear there. And then the bottom part here, same as on the boxer, you have that shoe compartment. So that's pretty cool. So that's front and back. Oops, let me zip that up. This pocket is just plain. There's no organization in there, by the way. Okay, so let's look at the bottom. Yep, same thing there. These feet aren't as big as those. I think that's fine. Although, I kind of would like those big feet. I don't know why they're different. All right, inside, okay. This one does not have that Velcro strap to tidy up this um, pocket on the inside. It's fine that it doesn't, but it's interesting that one does and one doesn't. But nice big interior of this bag. You've got the bottom of it. You can see again, quite a spacious bag. This will hold a lot of stuff. I think this is a great gym bag. Um, it's north-south, so for lockers and stuff, which I don't really, usually, I don't go and put my bag in a locker, but if I was going to, this would be my choice for a gym bag. Usually I take a slouchy bag that I don't care about anyway, and I jam it in there, because who cares? <laughs> yeah, anyway. Obviously, I need to get to the gym more. But inside here, we have the packable that came with it. So there's a blue and black packable. But before we get to that, let's look at what else we got. So we have this little, it's not a clip, but it is a ring. So you could clip your keys there. You can clip your packable there. You can clip other things there. And then this big elastic slip, it's not soft line, just a slip. It goes all the way down to the bottom. So it's a very big, very functional piece. And then on the other side, you have a privacy pocket. I really do like this paisley interior with this Heather. And this pocket goes about halfway down. So halfway down, you got your privacy pocket. And that's it for the inside. But really, really cool. Okay, so this one doesn't have pen slots anywhere. Oh, that's okay, I'm just... Oh, and did I already say this pocket? Maybe. It has the big open, like you could put your iPad or computer or, it's probably not big enough for a computer, but we fit my iPad or magazines or folders right here. I love those magnetic pockets. Anyway, okay, so that's it for this one. 
and your strap. So the last item to take a look at a little bit closer is the packable puddle jumper. So this actually, you can really fold this thing down. It's very compact. It is the same material, but it's not padded. It's not quilted. It does have a nice carabiner built in. So that's cool. If you open it up and you just fold it out. So there's your pocket on pockets. Let's see. The big pocket becomes the pocket on the front, so we got that, and there you go. It's a puddle jumper. <laughs> yeah, so pretty cool. I mean, it is a full-size puddle jumper. It doesn't have the depth of organization, but the pocket on pocket is Velcro instead of magnetic. I, I did find out that was the case, but these pockets are still a good size. No, no slip there so it's just the pockets three pockets no side well that's interesting the reason that this couldn't have a little sleeve on the side for your water so that's disappointing it's okay but i would like that it does have a trolley sleeve but very simple and then basic straps it's a nice robust material same as the eco shoppers and inside is just a bag and there's your tag. So um, I did not talk about it on any of these today, but if you ever forget what bag you're carrying, Lug has a tag right there to tell you what it is, which is really cool. So, okay, so let's see if we can put this back together. Single zipper, by the way, not a double zipper. Let's see if I can figure this out. We'll unzip the pocket, and we'll flip it over. Lay it out flat. Fold the sides in. Fold the sides in. I think this is how you do it. I don't actually know. Okay. You can probably roll this down or just lay them in there. Make them kind of flat-ish. That's probably gonna be the one thing that bulks it out is screwing that up. All right, and then fold to the top of the pockets and fold again so you have basically your two pockets on the front, and then you take the big pocket and then just flip it carefully back around itself. Ah, I did it, first try, woo hoo. All right, so that is it. Your puddle jumper packable, and right back into its beautiful little pocket, and then you can still make it smaller if you want. So pretty, look at this bloom black. Oh, so cool. Purples and teals. Okay, so that is our overall review on the haul. And a little bit deeper look than we went, obviously, in the unboxing, but still a lot more detail. So once I've had a chance to get out of the house, get out and do some things, and try out some of these things, we will start doing some comparisons of the lug items versus the like items on the Vera side and or other brands. It's gonna be really a lot of fun to kind of broaden that whole experience. So I think that everything so far covers each other's gaps in the collection quite well. And now I need a lug room. But I don't know if I have anywhere to put all this right now. We'll have to figure that out. Um, maybe make one shelf in the Vera room. If I had one, they're all crammed up though. All right, anyway, enough blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now, washi washi.